The deputy governor told the training beneficiaries to put the knowledge gained from the program to maximum use. Our graduates, please, now you have something in your mind and knowledge that you can use your hands to do. Be diligent, be dedicated, be prudent. We believe this is the beginning of greater things in your life. The representative of Vice President's wife said more of such programs are on the way. The message to those people that are trained is that they should use what was taught to to empower themselves. Other top government functionaries at the event described such training programs as a win-win situation for everybody. We are using you as a point of contact so that when you are empowered, by the grace of God it will expand. Then you will now bring in more people that you will also empower. That is the purpose of this program. I should be the most applied person because as a woman, women are being empowered. Even the men are not left out. And I know with this empowerment, it will lead to so many best results for them. Most especially the ladies. When you are, when you are empowered, definitely you have no man to disabuse you. And for the men, no time to run around, do all sorts of evil things that are not expected of them. The beneficiaries were also full of gratitude but said they still need assistance to really get their businesses started. I'm very, very happy for this program. So I make the very best of clothes for people who are willing to work it. It makes me to know how they sew so the cloth and how did they do the measurement. So from now upwards, I now feel stand on my own after the day. I they appreciate God that can I be among the beneficiary to attend this uh, training. The training center on different aspects of basic sewing and soft furnishing. Avoid Ungu, AIT News Lokoja.